Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Teresa Sterling, and today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day. I haven't done ever just like a true what I eat in a day. I always incorporate it into my fitness vlogs, but today, all today is going to be is what I'm eating. So I'm not going to show you guys like my workouts or anything, but I just was at the gym. I did a booty workout. I'll link the video down below of the workout that I did. I literally followed it to a T. And then um, right now I'm about to go to spin, and then um, I'm going to come home and eat and stuff. It's uh, 8.37 right now, and I'm going to leave for spin at about 9.15. I mean, at about 9. So before I go to spin, I do want to meal prep just a little bit so that when I come home from spin, I'm not, like, dying of hunger, and I don't want to, like, collapse and fall over and die. Um, but one thing that I do want to show you guys is that I like to write out what I eat every day so that um, I can like follow it and know exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, this is like what I wanna have this morning to drink and then this is what's gonna be for breakfast and then for lunch and then for dinner and then whatever snacks I have. So it just like is a good way to keep your meals planned out and I feel like when I'm more planned out like this, I'm much more accountable to stick to them and actually do this. So for breakfast, I'm gonna have five egg whites, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, avocado, and protein oatmeal. I'll show you what all that is later after spin, but right now I'm just gonna make the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli because like I said, after spin, I'm not gonna wanna be chopping up some vegetables. I'm just gonna wanna eat. And the oatmeal and the eggs will literally take me no more than like two minutes to make. So I'm just gonna meal prep real quick. Something that I do wanna eat before spin though, just to help with digestion and to just make me feel a little bit more full is some chia seeds so all I do is pour about that much chia seeds in and then some water stir that up and then I'm just gonna let this set while I make my broccoli and then right before I go to spin I will just um I'll eat it I think chia seeds are the best superfood for your body because what it does essentially is I think that the best form to eat them in is when they're in water and they're nice and gelatinous and they have like a little bit of um they're a little sticky to each other because what that does is it goes through your digest digestion, especially into your liver, and it detoxes it. Any toxins, anything that is having trouble moving along by itself, it goes in and because it's so gelatinous, essentially it wraps itself around the toxins or whatever it's trying to move out and it guides it out and it moves it out of your body. So. I think it's really amazing with digestion digestion, and it's an omega-3, it's an essential fatty acid, um, it's an essential fat for your body and those fats will keep you feeling full even though it doesn't add carbs or it doesn't add a protein, I mean it has a little bit of protein but it doesn't add carbs, it doesn't add anything like that since it is just a fat it'll just make me feel full, um, full enough to hold me over for a spin but not add like carbs or you know break the fasting cardio or whatever. So. And also just really helps with digest digestion and gut health. But now we're going to make the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts. It's so, so easy. I'm just pretty much going to saute them in a pan, but I'll still show you anyway. I do not play around with my Brussels sprouts. I go through them like crazy. And it's so funny because growing up, everyone was like, ew, Brussels sprouts. Like, they're so gross. But... I mean, I really love Brussels sprouts. I think they're amazing. And I like to do Brussels sprouts before my broccoli because they're a little tougher, so they take a little bit longer. So over here, this is my pan that like everyone has a pan that like they barely wash or they get super seasoned. Put on about, I don't know, that much avocado oil. I don't really measure anything if you guys can't tell. And then I just add on the Brussels. And then I season them with pink Himalayan sea salt and pepper and that's it. I keep it pretty, pretty basic. Get it all around in the oil. Then I throw a lid on there and let them do their do their thing. Every time I have broccoli, I eat a full head of broccoli. Me meal prepping probably makes this breakfast seem like it's like this huge ordeal. It's really, really not. It's just that I'm already hungry, so I know that when I get back from spin, I'm gonna be even more hungry, and the last thing I wanna do is saute vegetables. Like, I'm just gonna wanna eat as quickly as I can, like, and get food in my body. Don't let me meal prepping scare you away from this breakfast because it's going to be high in vegetables, it's gonna be carb loaded, protein packed, um, it's gonna have all your food groups. So really what I focus on when I eat is three things, which is carbs, vegetables, and protein. Then I'm gonna pop back over here. I don't know about you, but I love my vegetables like burnt, like when they're burnt, that's when I like them. Smells so good. 
And then of course, add on some pink Himalayan sea salt. And pepper. And the lid goes right back on. These are smelling poi thickly burnt. I'm going to get them in a Tupperware. And just let them sit face open like that and let them like steam off or whatever. So the chia seeds aren't like quite ready yet, but I'm still going to eat them anyway because I kind of have to go. So like once I start getting like that, like they kind of stick together. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go to spin and then I'll be back to um, cook the rest of my breakfast. Okay, once they're done steaming and like getting kind of hot, you just throw a lid on them, put them in the fridge, and then when I make the eggs, um, after the eggs come off, I'm just gonna throw them back in the pan to like saute them a little bit, get them a little crispy again, um, but that's pretty much it. Back from spin, I'm starving and I'm so happy that I already made my vegetables because it literally just makes life so much easier for me. I love my old self. Like, I'm just so nice to myself. I really am just the best to myself. Like, I love myself. Egg whites all day. Put that all together, I like to add a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt and pepper into my eggs. And I'm pretty sure everyone here knows how to scramble eggs, but literally it's the easiest thing if you don't. All you have to do is just keep moving them around. I mean, this is not really the right utensil to use, but the other stuff's in the dishwasher and I'm a little too lazy to, uh, Clean it out. All right, that's the eggs. It's literally that simple. Oatmeal is super easy. I'm gonna take about a cup of oats. It's acting as my carbs, and I'm gonna make it a little more protein packed. And then fill it up with some water. And then I toss this in the microwave for about three minutes. All right, then the oatmeal. I'm gonna take Santa Cruz organic peanut butter. I like this because the ingredients are roasted peanuts and contains 1% or less of salt, so it's literally just peanuts. I put about, I don't know, a tablespoon of peanut butter up in there. I have some fresh blueberries that I'm going to add into the equation here. Just throw on some bloobs. And this is my breakfast. So you have your carbs over here. I have some fats and some proteins with that peanut butter um, that adds both fat and protein. Carbs is the berries and of course the oats. And then over here I have my protein with my eggs, healthy fats with avocados, and my big thing of veggies with Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Broccoli is really high in fiber, so it's super good for you and your digestion. And uh, yeah, that is breakfast. And yes, I did eat the entire thing. When you work out as much as I do, your girl's got a big appetite, okay? I got ready for the day, as you guys can tell. But now I'm getting pretty hungry for lunch, so I'm gonna make some. Um, actually, I'm not gonna make any. Hmm. <laughs> you ever just get a text and you're like, really? Like, the audacity. I just got one of those, the audacity. Anyway. I'm just gonna eat some leftovers that I had last night for dinner because it was so amazing. So it's like this sweet potato hash that my dad made. It's sweet potatoes, beans, corn, and onions. And I have this little nugget of salmon. So I'm just gonna heat that up in the microwave and eat that. Leftovers are like the best thing ever. I have to be out the door in, well, I don't have to be out the door whenever. I can leave whenever I want. But I wanna get going pretty soon. A lot of my friends are coming home from college or a lot of my friends are going to college that live like not around here. So I haven't seen them since like school let out. So I'm seeing all of them today and I'm pretty excited about it. So I just want to get going. It's 2.30. I wanted to leave a little bit earlier, but my friend's car broke down. So I had to go pick him up and drop him off to his house. All right. Just gonna read that. Okay, and there it is. So I have my carbs and my protein. The only thing that I don't have is veggies. So if I'm still hungry after this, I'm gonna eat some carrots and hummus. But this I'm gonna is make it a quick smoothie and bring it to go. This smoothie is super easy. So this is veggie protein powder. This is the kind that I use. I really like the vanilla more, but I am out of vanilla. This is my favorite vegan protein powder, by the way. It just tastes better than like Vega protein, I think that, or Vega, whatever, I think that kind of sucks. Then, because I buy so many bananas, I'm gonna throw two bananas 
all up in there. Almond milk, and I bet you can guess what the last ingredient is. <laughs> Peanut butter, how much more predictable do I get? Like that much or so, I don't know. Blend it up. I just wanna get going, man. I just wanna get to see my college friends. And it's really funny because I don't even go to this college, but like I go to the parties there all the time and like a lot of my best friends go there. And I made a lot of good friends that go there. So um, like when I'm at the parties, people are like, oh, like, you know, where do you live? Like all this stuff. I'm like, I don't like go here. And they're like, oh wait, you don't? Like people literally think I go to this college, but I don't. I just sort of, you know, go there without the academics. Okay, I'm gonna go. This is really good. You guys should make this at home. It's really simple, really so, easy. So really dinner tonight, I'm at my mom's and she's making hey. din din. So why don't you tell everyone what we're having? Well, I'm making an orzo salad, um, which is one of my favorites, but I'm a little low on orzo, so I'm gonna add some wild rice to it also. Mm. But it just has chickpeas in it and um, two colors of cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. They're in season right now. Oh yeah, and the yellow ones we grow outside, so those are, oh. those are homegrown, you gotta have those. Um, so those are the best, and it has red onion in it, and then, mm. then it has like a lemon, agave, mint dressing on it. And that's really good. And then we'll have green beans and we're gonna have scallops and shrimp. That's dinner. Mm -mm. Mm. So I'm just preparing stuff while the rice is cooking. Dinner is served, and you just um, sauteed the shrimp and scallops in the same dressing yes. that we made for this, correct? Yes. Then we have a little slab of dairy-free vegan butter on the green beans, and then you guys saw how we made the salad. Mm -hmm. Shrimp shrink. They do shrink a little bit. Get the nice, like, crusty ones. Those are probably the really yummy ones. Hi, it's me. I forgot to make an outro, but you guys have literally seen every single form of myself. This is me after hot yoga right now when I literally look like a hot mess, but I just forgot to film an outro for this video, so I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and as always, let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see. Love you guys. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.